Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. This is Elise here of Plan With Elise, and today we are creating two different custom Patreon spreads. The first spread that we are going to be doing is for Darla, and Darla has requested a horizontal spread for journaling, and she wanted me to use the camping-themed stickers from the new-ish, new, <laughs> new when I'm filming this, I Love Summer sticker book by Kel of Plan. So I was so excited that Darla chose these. And I have to say, when I saw these stickers, when I did the flip through of this sticker book originally, I had a feeling that this was going to be Darla's choice because I think the first ever spread that I made for Darla was a camping theme. And whoops, this sticker is down here. That's not where it's supposed to be. And I had just like an inkling that she was going to, I don't want to put this here, I'm going to put it here, here, here. Um, I just had a feeling that she was going to want this for a spread once she saw this sticker book uh, come out. So like I said, Darla uses a horizontal for journaling. So that's something for me to really be mindful of when I'm creating these spreads because knowing the use of the planner is really important because for journaling, we don't necessarily need bullet points or things like that. If someone were using this for their regular weekly planning, it would be different. So I love that this sticker book has both flowers and camping themes. I feel like that's one of the really cool things because this is kind of a mega book. It combines what Kel of a Plan would normally sell as separate sticker books for like, let's say I love summer flowers and I love summer icons or something like that. Because in the past she's done, you know, summer flowers, summer florals, volume two, summer icons. But now we are combined into one I love summer season. So we're going to put some flowers down over here. And then let's go to the left side. I know I'm going a little bit all over the place today, but I want to be sure I'm including plenty of stickers that make me smile and hopefully make Darla smile too. I also pulled out this washi. So this is Planny Thing washi, which you know is my favorite washi. And I felt like this kind of peachy pink would be really pretty here. And I like that it's a grid. So I think here's where it comes off. I will be sure to link everything that I'm using um, in the description of the video, but with Planny Thing, you can use code Elise10 for a discount. Kelo Plan does not have a discount code. Actually, I had this question recently in a YouTube comment and I wanted to, um, I addressed it in the YouTube comment, but I also wanted to address it here. So the person who had commented on the video asked if I could please ask Heather to allow us to do discount codes like other small shops do. Um, and my response, because I've had this conversation with Heather before, is Heather's sticker books have not gone up in price. Heather's sticker books, not this one because this is a big sticker book, but Heather's basic sticker books are $20. Other comparable small shops, their sticker books are $22 or more. Um, for example, Wrong Wrong sticker books are more than $20, Live Love Posh, Amber Plans Her Day, etc. So while Heather is not offering discount codes, her sticker books have stayed the same price. So for a $20 sticker book, or $19.99, right? That's, that's, I guess, what we're looking at here. Are they $19.99 or $20? Let's just, for easy math for me, let's just say 20. So for a $20 sticker book, when you buy it from Kelo Plan, you're paying, you know, tax and shipping. For a uh, Live Love Posh sticker book, when you use a discount code, I think it comes down to, mm, I don't know why I can't do this math. Hold on, I have my calculator here. I need more coffee. Um, 22 minus 10%, oops, 1980. So it's actually a 20 cent difference. I know that sometimes with our mind, like we feel that the discount is different and is giving us so much more of a savings. And it's great that other shops are giving discount code. However, Heather's decision was to keep her sticker books at the same price instead of giving a discount code. So that's just something to keep in mind. 
um, different shops are going to make what's the right, what the right decision for their business is. And so that's the right decision for uh kill of a plan is to keep sticker books at the same price and not offer a discount code. So I can explain it a little bit better verbally versus in reply to a YouTube comment. Okay. I think that that washi looks really pretty here. It's definitely not a perfect match for the florals, but I also don't think that it always has to be the exact perfect match. Now let's bring in a quote. So I like the woods are better than any night on the town. I don't know that I um, personally agree with it. I am not a camping fan, but that's also why it's really great to be able to make this spread for someone else because, um, I mean, these stickers are really pretty and I would use them. I just don't know if I'm personally the camping, the camping girl. <laughs> now let's do this quote kind of right over here, but I want to cover up this line because I don't want to see it underneath. The other thing that you could do if you don't want to be able to see the lines underneath these at all, not just this line, but the lines for the spread is put this, these quote stickers on like matte sticker paper. And then you'd have um, a white, a solid white background. So with some of these quotes that have like thin letters. I'm just kind of pressing it down with the back of my tweezer here, just so that it's a little bit, it pops like a little bit more. Life is better when you're camping. All right, really cute. Now, the sticker book does have boxes. So before I continue with all the other camping style stickers, I want to be sure to include some boxes here. So I really like a double box in a horizontal. I think it's a good use of the space down here, especially because we've always got that kind of like awkward extra horizontal area, which you could use for habit trackers. You could use for like a weekly review. You could use it as a brain dump and then fill it in throughout the week. You could use it as what's coming next week. There's so many different options, but for journaling, I think that putting a box here will allow Darla to kind of use this as she wants to. So that's what we're going to do here. Let's just get this a little bit more covered up. For lines like this, I like to use a pen instead of my correction tape, because if I put the correction tape up, down, up, down, sideways, <laughs> if I put the correction tape down, it would create a little bit of a bump here when putting the sticker down. So I didn't want, um, I didn't want that to happen. Okay. So we've got a box down, let's do some more. But again, I wanna be mindful of being able to include other stickers. So I think we're gonna take this one and this one. So let's put this here. And then I'm gonna layer this one on it a little bit. Put this here so that I know it's straight. I'm scared to jinx myself, but so far, all the stickers I've put down have been relatively straight. This one could probably use a little bit of work, but we're, we're getting there. Maybe I'm changing my, my MO. So we'll cover this. And this needs to be covered as well. Otherwise, you'll be able to see the green through it. I was wondering if this pen is maybe starting to run out of ink, but I don't think it is. I think I've just used it a lot today and I just need to remember to keep cleaning off the tip of it. Okay. I've got a tiny bit right there, but it's all right. Now let's go back to some of these camping stickers because so far it's really just florals and then like rocks. So I want to be sure to include a camper here because I think that that would be really fun. So I like this one, oops, size wise. Looks like that wasn't cut perfectly right here. Let's just cut that little edge off. I feel like this could be cute right here. We're just going to shift it over a little bit and then 
use my handy dandy we are memory keepers punch to punch through that's pretty and now we've got some space for something down here so I'm gonna want to go with something a little bit more of a horizontal style we do have some of these tents we also have a little bit more of an outdoor scene I like this one let me show you kind of this like pretty mountainscape these stickers are thin so that it looks like they're right on your planner and they don't take up too much space so sometimes they're hard to take off and I think that using tweezers just helps so let's put this I'm gonna put it I don't love it being on the bottom because then we have like this one and this one I feel like it's not my favorite look but it's kind of the only spot I have for it because I can't put it here because then we run out of journaling space for each of those so this is sort of the only place I could put it so we're just gonna do it and again if you're struggling with sticker placement I feel like I've said this a lot lately but I've actually used it in a lot of different areas of my life if I were to look at the spread and let's say it's for me right not for Darla and it's like okay well I don't 100% love that I have this here and this here but this isn't going to make me not use the spread it's not like this is the worst thing I've ever seen and I cannot use this planner spread because I have <laughs> stickers that are on both corners like sometimes these things are just not that deep and I think that when you can look at a lot of things in life with that perspective it helps um, that's how I look at some of my content. Like I, I think that I can, I make pretty good videos. What I'm not great at is taking photos. I'm not great at the lighting. I'm not great at styling the photos. It's just not my strong suit, but I don't ever look at a photo that I take of my planner before posting on Instagram and be like, I can't post this. This is a horrible photo because I don't think that anyone would be scrolling through Instagram and look at my account and be like, I can't believe she posted that photo. I am going to unfollow her. Like if you are someone who is making content, whether it's planning or otherwise, and you're kind of struggling with that idea of like what looks great or not, sometimes, not all times in life, but sometimes like good, whoops, good enough is best. Um, these some of these things when it comes to especially planners are just not that deep now if i'm creating content for a brand like if i'm being paid specifically for a brand to for something to go on their website or stuff like that um i will you know retake the photo or try lighting a, a little bit more and i usually do retake all my photos a, a couple times i try different angles i try different lighting and props but it's not where I choose to spend the most of my time because, I mean, all of our time is limited. And typically when I'm taking a picture, it's, you know, before my workday begins or something like that. Um, so choosing where you put your time and energy, I think, is, is really healthy in all areas of life, not just planner content. Okay, I think that the final thing this is missing is just one more strip of washi. I'm feeling like this side up here is a little bit empty. So we're going to put one more strip of washi. Let's get that to the end over here. And this is definitely like less sticker heavy than some of my spreads, but I feel like because this is being used for journaling, it needs space to journal. I maybe could bring in one more like little camper. Let's try this one. But I think that's my max. try to peel this one up even like here or here this then we lose a lot of space this one has more but either way wherever I put this there's going to be less I could maybe put this right here no because then it's going to be like right up against that I think we're going to put it just sitting on top of this washi hopefully it's enough space to journal I know it's not a ton but hopefully it's enough Okay, now, and Darla did want this undated so that she can use it 
whenever she would like to and get it dated. So there are days that have a little bit more space. There are days that have a little bit less, um, but I think that the washi is a great addition and this is really pretty. So let's move on to the next one. All right, now this next spread is for Bobby and Bobby wanted a dashboard spread and she wanted a squad girls theme in honor of all the new friends that she made at Go Wild. I was so happy to meet Bobby there. So I pulled out the different squad girls sticker books I have. We've got an old, old one here. There's like barely anything left of this except for that page is pretty full. But look at this. This sticker page needs to come out. There's literally one bullet on it. So there's not a ton, but I did pull out the Love Every Season, This Is Your Year, and then the big Love Every Season from last year because these, while they're not named Squad Girls, they are definitely um, the Squad Girls themes. So I thought we could start with one of the bigger ones. But we have winter there and we are still in spring. So I do like the April showers bring. I feel like that would be fun somewhere. Although there's no May flowers, but I feel like this could be fun here. We just have to find the right spot for it. I was thinking up top, but then I thought I wanted to use a big quote down at the bottom. So I think that maybe we're just going to put this right over here. I feel like that's a good spot for it. And then. I feel like because this is kind of a friend's theme, I want there to be a sticker that has more than one girl on it. So this one is mostly boxes. This one has more of those stickers. So let's, oh, we've got other quotes too. Let's see. Is this string? I feel like I always get confused. Okay, so this starts with summer and then it will end with spring. One of the challenges that I sometimes face is that I've used like a lot of the stickers I use. Look at this. This is pretty much empty. Where are the spring girls? Let's go a little bit slower here. We've got these, but are there none on clear? Usually there's some on clear, unless the page is gone because I've used it all already. Sometimes if I use an entire page, I pull them out. These are summer. So we do have these and I can bring them in, but they are kind of a different color scheme than the others. So we've got a little bit of a challenge going on here. This one, like I said, is mainly boxes. So we are going to figure out what to do here. I feel like with the size of some of these, these are probably the girls. So I think that we're gonna need to go back to these. So how big is this? It's a big sticker. I could put this over here and then we only have room for one, but I think we're gonna do that because I sort of have an idea of how we can still make this work. So we're gonna cover up the note section. We also have some of these smaller quotes. There's a lot of options here. So I'm gonna cover this up using my white pen. And then I wanna bring both of these in together. I just kinda of need to sort of, whoops, play around with this. So this is gonna go kind of as far over as she can go. Nope, I didn't do it right. Too much of the sticker was going down at once. There we go. Okay, she'll go there. And then sometimes decorative planning is like a puzzle, I think. This will go here and then on the other side or some room up top will include the others. So I need a tiny bit of this punch. There we go. And then I feel like down here we can maybe bring in some of the wildflowers if I have them. So we can grab a few of these just to make it pretty, prettier. And we can do another flower here. And a little butterfly. Okay, that's really cute. Now, 
I want to make sure that I'm bringing in multiples though, because the theme here was supposed to be friendship and we need to be able to include that. So I think we've got to go back to these. Box stickers are not my favorite for a dashboard spread. I find them a little bit challenging to use, um, but we are going to make it work. So I thought that maybe like putting this here to kind of layer it might be cute. I don't tend to use these like odd little boxes a ton, but I thought that kind of adding something would give it a little bit of a fun little accent. So we have friendship is beautiful and I feel like that's, that's kind of it. Okay, let's bring in one of these blue stickers. We're gonna put this over here for Tuesday. I am leaving this undated so that Bobby can date it when she wants to or use it like when she wants to. However, I'm putting a box for Tuesday because our Patreon Zooms are Tuesday. And so <laughs> hopefully that's what she'll use it for. Let's bring in some color washi. I will say as I'm looking at this, the washi that I have from the last spread we did, I think actually could look really pretty here because we've got some of these colors. So even though I just used it, I think it would be pretty to use here also. And then I'm just gonna kind of cut around right there so that it sort of ducks through that. And now let's pull out the sticker book, which has mostly boxes. I'll link these below. If this sticker, but these sticker books are still available, I would guess that they're on sale because oh, we may have some girls here because these are from last season. And we do have some header boxes. So these are perfect because we can play around with these stickers and let Bobby kind of customize them on her own. So we'll cover these up. And I'd like to bring in the washi again, but this time now, because I already kind of made it diagonal, we've got to cut it here. So we're going to put this here. And then we can do a little rip. Let's do this blue color here. I think that that's really pretty. And then we can do another one down here. And sometimes with washi, it's fun to just do like a little ripped look instead of the perfectly like lined up one. And now let's also bring in this mustard color because I think this is really pretty here. And we have it down in the Stop and Smell the Wildflowers quote. I need this to go up a little bit higher because I want it to be aligned with here. We go and then those that's really cute now let's take some more of these pretty boxes because we know I love boxes in a spread I love the functionality and I think that we can kind of layer this right here with today is and we can make that like a little bit of a journaling spot even or a plan of course and let's do one right here too Okay, I like how that looks. We wanna do something up here. Before I just put the washi down though, let's see what our other options are. I kind of wanted to bring in one of these boxes because I feel like I don't use enough of these, especially in a dashboard. But I kind of forgot that when I went to put this down. So I think what we're gonna do is put one right here. And here's my thought process. If I needed extra space in my dashboard, this might be where I'd put it or over here because I feel like with the size, like the way that I write, I could be able to do both of these, but I'm also now kind of hesitant to do that on someone else's spread. So I wonder if we take one of these larger girls, taller girls, and put this here. If I do that, We've got to really cover these up unless my mind is, is just kind of going right now. We're going to pull this up. That's, that's a given. 
So these are going away. What if I take the washi and go vertical with it? Maybe this will cover these boxes. It doesn't really cover them, but I'm wondering if I can do two layers of washi. My decision making is do I, can I do this? I'm trying to get my washi cutting card. Do I spend time covering up all of these boxes or do we just try to double layer this and see if that might work? It might, I've never done it before, but I've got to make sure that the grid lines up and that the washi is lined up. You know what? I think that this might actually work. It makes it a little bit darker than the rest of the washi on the page, but it's kind of a cool look. I like that. I don't really mean for her to be stepping on the other girl's head. <laughs> that wasn't intentional. Um, so let's see if we can maybe do something about that by maybe like putting something else over there or moving her a little bit. It's always tricky to move a large sticker. Oh, that worked. Okay. So let's put her over here and then we can maybe bring in like one more box because why not? right here, just as kind of an extra little layer. I feel like that looks really neat. It's fun and different and anything that's aside from my norm. Well, I was gonna say I like anything that's different from my norm, but that said, I also really like doing my normal planning. It just becomes a little challenging sometimes when it's for someone else. All right, let's continue on the right side. now. I know that Bobby likes bullet points, so I just wanted to see if there's really any more room for boxes. I don't really think that there is. Like, I don't want to necessarily put a box on every single day. We could maybe take one of these stickers, because I did one of those to do over there. So maybe we can assume that this, like, here would be a top priority. So let's bring in the washi, because we only have it a little bit on this side. And we'll put some right here, like that, as kind of a priority for the day. This is really pretty. I'm happy with it. Okay, um, we still have to do this part, which I sort of forgot about. So that'll actually be great for the washi. Put this down. And again, this is Plenty Thing Washi. And code Elise 10 will give you a discount. And now let's find what color heading box we want to use. I have the green, maybe that orange again, the dark orange could look nice here. If I have another one of them. We do. And let's do the one with the butterfly, kind of right in the middle. There we go. That really like cleaned it up and sort of brought it all together. So now we need some bullet points. So I have all of my dot markers right here. Yes, I have a lot of them. Typically these dot markers do bleed. Um, I use tend to use them a lot in my dashboard, but I'm also not that concerned about the bleeding because the back of this isn't going to be used. This is just an extra page that's going to be in her planner. So I wanna double check this green color. Hmm. It's not a great green. Let's see if I can maybe find one that's a little bit better. Just kind of testing these. No, that's more of a teal. I have blue, I have purple. Oh, we can do the peach color. That'll work. Okay, so we're gonna do blue here. Let me just test this blue and we'll put in a couple of bullet points. And then we'll do the peach over here. And then we can do blue here, purple here, peach here. What did I say blue here? Purple. And then we'll do blue again on Sunday. This came together really nicely. I like this spread a lot. 
there we go. I think we're set. I really like both of these. Let's pull them both out again. So we have Bobby's dashboard squad themed spread. We have Darla's journaling in a horizontal with a camping theme. And I think that these both came out really, really pretty. They're both soft and gentle and like delicate colors and they make me happy. So I'm really happy with them both and hopefully they are too. Uh, let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. Thanks so much for spending time with me today. Again, everything will be linked in the description and I do as always appreciate your support when you use my affiliate links. And that is a wrap. I will see you next time.